Hey, you're Hori there. In today's episode, we will be looking at the map, right? Because we do have uh, a database to store routes and Pokemons, but at the moment we don't have anything that allows us to basically change which route we are in. So what we're gonna do is a very simple component that will allow us to change routes. So at the moment, we're not gonna use a map directly. We will just use simple buttons, a list of buttons. And that's what we're gonna work with, right? So let's go to Godot right now. First, I want to check our user interface. Yeah, because we don't have a margin container. Um, No, a scroll container right there. So as you can see, we already have quite a lot of the screen, which is taken by those things. But if we do add things, it's going to be out of the screen. Or we can actually get the routes on the side. So I'm going to create a new vertical box, I think, so they will both overlap. This one's going to be on the top right cor that left corner, it's going to be cool. Yeah, I actually wanted to take the entire screen like this. And what if I want it to be with 20? Yes, that's going to be 320. So we're going to have this, but instead what I'm going to do, I will change this as a margin. Like, like this, that's going to be a margin container. And from there, I can add a V box. That's going to be aligned like this. So the margin container, I actually wanted to have a 16 on each side. And in there, I just want to have buttons which is going to be root one. Um, can I have it a little bit bigger, please? Yeah, 80 pixels, great. So that's going to be root one. And now we root two, root three. That's OK. Theme override, let's have a separation of 16, I guess. So there we're going to have root 2 and root 3. OK, so we have three buttons, which allows us to switch routes. So what I'm going to do is I will create a manager which will handle the routes uh, changing and stuff. So let's say this at the moment. So right, we have the game right here, we have the databases. So let's add a new gray node, which is gonna be uh, managers. Okay. And in there, I wanna create a new, that's gonna be roots manager, like this, right? Let's save it in our scenes. Uh, maybe a new folder managers. And in there, we're going to have the folder roots. All right, let's give it a script rootsmanager.gd. Yep. Class name manager roots. So I want this to be a singleton. So I'm going to have the ref um, manager root. And as usual, enter tree. If mm, if ref, well, if ref, I want to tree and whoa, take a second, like this. I want to free and return. Otherwise, I want ref to be equal to self. All right. So we do have a single tongue check. From there, I will 
I will create a signal maybe. Um, yes, because the purpose of having managers doing things is to be able to have global signals, right? So here we're gonna declare a signal, which is a custom one. I don't think we have it in this, in this series. Yep. So it's very simple. You just have the keyword signal and give it a name. Uh, so we're gonna have with um, location updated or root updated. I don't know we only have roots. So let's go with root updated. We don't need to do anything really. We can add arguments to signals, but here I'm not going to have an argument right there. I will just create a method which is going to be uh, change root or update root. So we are in line with um, the signal. I will grab the root ID that we want to go to. And we will simply make a check. No, no, actually, we don't need to make a check. Let's go re really hard and go game rev.data dot current root equal root idea. Like this. And once we have changed the root, we want to emit the signal, right? So we will have root updated dot emit like this. So it's very, very simple. Very, very simple. I'm just going to drag and drop it at the moment. So where are my managers? They're there. And I will have this, like this. So I do have my manager being created there. So what I will do is in my user interface, I will create a new script, which is going to be built in, all right? And that will be root buttons. Yeah, I will name this root buttons. Extend the box. Well, I guess I don't have the choice there. And what I will do is just um, grab the signals actually of those three buttons. So we will have this guy, this other guy, and the third one. We connect all three signals like this. And we're going to go with manager roots dot ref dot uh, update root. And we will have three ideas, which are 001. And well, let me copy this. this. We're going to have 002 and 002. Zero, zero, three. All right. Now that I'm making this, I realize we maybe want to make a check that um, if root is equal to root ID, I want to return, right? I don't want to change the root if we already are on this root. Like this. Okay, and now what I want to do is actually go in my main view here. And you see, we have the enter root and leave root thing. So what we will do is basically we need to plug um, the signal that we created on our state machine there. So. Maybe that we come through the idea of um, having this in the state manager. Do we want to have this in the state manager? Maybe yes. So what we want to do basically is grab the signal and connect it to whatever method that must um, be called on. 
So I will create a new method right away, which is going to be on root updated like this. Now what I will do when the root is updated, I will change the state to uh, leave route like this. And it should actually be able to do all the process to go through leaving the route, generating the new table, and combat loop, right? So we created the method, right? But we didn't connect it. So to connect a method to a signal, so far we did it with the editor, which is very, it works very fine. But sometimes you need to connect it by the script. And you do this by getting the reference to the signal. So it's manager roots dot ref dot root updated, right? Right there, you know it's a signal because there's this little icon there. So you get the signal and you choose the method connect from the signal object. And right there, you need to reference the method, which is on root updated. The autocomplete gives you those parentheses, but you have to remove those. And there you go. You have the connection being made. All right. So now we do have the root um, update connection being made. So what we need to do is to update the database to have a new route because at the moment all we do have is route one. So we want to go in there, go in the script. Am I in the script? Yes. And we want to create route 002 and 003, right? So I'm gonna do this and show you the result. So before anything, uh, what I did is I added uh, two new Pokemons to the database, which are basically Charmander and Charminian, which were used to make these thumbnails really. Um, so now that we have new Pokemons, what I will do is right there, I will remove Mightyena from the root one, and I will create new roots. Okay, so I've created two routes, number two and number three. So now we should have things to be able to grab with our buttons and our change route thing. So maybe we can just try the game. Is this gonna work? Okay, again, this moment is very scary for me all the time. So right now we are on route one. So with the changes, we should have, well, okay. Can we have something different? Oh, finally. Ah, clicking so much. And so now I should be able to go to row two. And there we go. We have Charminians and Charmanders. And we can go to row three to have the Mightiness and go back to row one, row two. <laughs> Oh, it was, it was scary, but uh, it turned out well. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm quite happy, not gonna lie. That's why game development is, is just so tasty. Because when you finally manage to make something that works, um, after you've... I don't know, it, it's just so cool. 
So yes, I guess we're done. <laughs> I guess that's it for this very short episode. Uh, very short, but much more impactful one um, than the previous ones, which were mostly changing things in the code. So yeah, I hope you liked it. Uh, I actually do like it very much myself. So yeah, I will see you in the next one, which I have no idea what it's going to be about, but you know, have fun and see you later.